Hey, title game tomorrow. What was the final message from Coach heading into tomorrow? Uh, just take care of business and bring home a championship to Kinderville. Uh, what's it going to take effort-wise for this team to do that? Uh, we're going to have to give it our all and rely on each other and know we got each other's backs out there. So. Uh, you guys have already been down there this week, but you're wearing the Colts hat. How cool is it going to be to play at Lucas Oil Stadium? Uh, I'm a huge Colts fan, and it's just a dream come true, so it's awesome. Uh, obviously, the challenge with Evansville is always tough. What do you know about them, and, and what do you need to do, slow down to, to get this thing done? Uh, they throw a little bit more than our opponents we've seen in the past, so we're going to have to stop the passing game this week, so that's a big thing. How much do you guys kind of know about the history of East Noble? Because you guys haven't won a title since uh, 2000. Uh, how much do you kind of understand that, and how much do you want to change it a little bit? Uh, we just want to be the first team to go 15-0 and in East Noble history and bring back a title at Kinderville, so it'll be awesome. State title game tomorrow. What's the final message today heading into tomorrow? You know, I think we're kind of just trying to keep things normal for right now, and, keep, you know, the final message will, will come tonight. But, you know, more than anything, we, you know, we left town this morning to a, you know, giant group of people in town that are just excited for us. And, you know, our, our message is thank you to, you know, the people of, of uh, our community that have, you know, given so much and supported so much and shown so much love to us that, you know, we feel, uh, we feel that we, we're going to go down there and play well for them. Uh, obviously, you talked a little bit about this week being different. Every team wants to be here this week, but with Thanksgiving, days off of school, Saturday afternoon kick, how do you keep everything normal? You know, I think in some ways it's fun. You know, you, you challenge the kids to say, hey, we got, you know, it's not adversity. It's a, it's a great opportunity. It's going to be different. It's going to, you know, it's going to feel like a college bowl game. You know, it's a great opportunity to run around and, you know, get to feel special for a week and, you know, kind of got all the attention on us. So let's just, let's just relish it and have a lot of fun and, you know, get after it, and uh, we had great practices, and you know, we've had a lot of uh, opportunities, places like the Plex, and you know, Empowered in Fort Wayne, or or uh, you know, just being inside of these snowball, whatever we had to do, we've we've went in, got some work done, and uh, we're we're excited to get down there and get after it. Uh, obviously, playing in that stadium, like you said, college bowl game, but it seats seventy thousand people. Uh, how, how much do you kind of have to take that away from them and, and and let them know it's just another game? Well, they're going to have, you know, emotions and they're going to have excitement when they run out of that tunnel. And, and uh, we were real excited to go down there yesterday and try to get some of the newness out of it. Um, we had a great day and, you know, ran into some of the other teams. And, you know, you just see kids walking around kind of starstruck and, and whatever. But um, we were going to go to the games tonight and uh, they're going to see what it's all about. And, uh, you know, then when they show up and get on the field, we've just got to, as coaches, we've got to put kids in, in situations where they, they can be successful. You know, when you're coming out there all emotional, you know, you want to make sure that they're doing things that they understand and things they're comfortable with so they can uh, succeed. And, you know, that's part of our job and that's what we're going to do.